This is a how-to video for installing a piano hinge in a bench cabinet. I'm using a Bora edge guide for the circular saw. And is uh, for $50, it's pretty decent. It's not as good as something like a Festool, but hey, it's about a sixth of the price. So you want to raise the table on the circular saw all the way up so the blade is not touching the wood. And then you want to lower it into the wood. And then when you get it deep enough, then back it up to the mark. One important point for this process is to have a good fine saw blade for your circular saw. Definitely not like the sorry one that originally came with this saw because uh, as the blade is rotating direction it's uh, moving up through the wood and so you have a, a potential for tear out without a good blade tear out on the uh, visible side of the plywood. After you have the four sides of the opening cut out with the circular saw, you want to take a hand saw and cut out the remaining wood only on the side where the hinge is going to go. The next step is pretty straightforward. You want to center the hinge on the opening um, side to side and so that the uh, hinge is going down the middle of the opening. And then put a couple of screws on either side and because this one's so long, a couple in the middle uh, just to lock the hinge down. I'm using a Starrett automatic center punch to uh, kind of do a pilot hole to mark the center of the hinge. You could use something like a Vix bit, uh, but I find this to be really fast and convenient. That handsaw has some yellow paint from a house I owned 20 years ago. and. I guess I've just never taken the time to uh, get it off. I, have, I don't even know how it got there. And now it's just punching lots and lots of uh, pilot holes and installing lots and lots of screws. Uh, these are Phillips head screws, which I really despise. I wish they would get rid of all Phillips head screws in the world and move to something like Square or Torx but uh, they don't. One of the things you can do with the center punch is if you have a hole that's slightly off, uh, you can use the center punch to kind of push the wood over and move the pilot hole to the correct center spot. Once the hinge is all screwed on, you can take your hand saw and remove the remaining wood that was left over from the circular saw and release the lid from the rest of the cabinet. Now take sandpaper and clean up the outer corners of the lid and then take a chisel and clean out the inner corners of the opening and then do some final sanding to get rid of any uh, tear out that you have from the circular saw. For this application I'm gluing and screwing down a strip of wood to act as a stop so that the door closes correctly. I like to put my finger on the opposite side of where I'm driving a screw in, like in this place, because your finger can feel the screw about to penetrate the wood, uh, so you don't actually drive it all the way through and you can back it out. Using this method of installing a piano hinge, you can uh, get pretty much perfect reveal on all the edges of the uh, door with uh, minimal fussing around. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.